2012 PGA show and I'm inside the tailor-made um, compound. <laughs> it's 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 giant in here. It's I don't know how many tens of thousands of square feet, but uh, I've got my buddy Dean Snell, and, and we we've just had a nice conversation about golf balls and, and some of the new offerings and the changes to some of the existing balls. So uh, take us through those uh, and and tell us what you've changed and what golfers will benefit from those. The the biggest thing we had Penta TP last year, and we worked a lot to try to increase the distance of the golf ball. And so we, we soften the core by about 30% on compression, which uh, lowers the driver spin. Lower the driver spin increases distance, and the overall golf ball will feel softer. We're also introducing a new TP3 golf ball, which is which is for better players that are looking for more short iron spin. Penta TP5 is a little lower. This adds spin. OB1 type of players that are out there, this performance is targeted towards those players. And because it's three-piece and we save money, we're actually passing it to the consumers. We'll sell it at about 10 to $15 cheaper than Pro V1. And the third golf ball is for the average golfer called Rocket Balls, built for insane velocity. Um, we've maximized the speed to the USJ limit, put a soft, thin cover to have the highest iron spin. Average golfers need spin. We're giving that spin to the players with the maximum ball speed they can have. So our lineup this year will be Penta TP5, Penta TP3, and Rocket Balls will be our core golf balls. So does, is the Rocket Balls, is that a urethane style cover? No, is the TP3 and TP5 are both urethane, cast urethane covers and Rocket Balls balls is a proprietary um, patented blend we have called Iothane, which is a very soft ionomer type of cover. Okay. We, we, we mold it very thin, so the thin cover allows us to generate a lot of spin. We generate a lot of spin is what average golfers need. And when you, ha when you have so much spin in those really thin covers, sometimes they're not as durable. Is that ball, would you consider it durable? You know, I mean, we know that really high performance balls tend to wear quicker yeah you know than the harder balls I mean where does that fall in that category yeah typically in golf balls the the durability gets worse the softer the cover um, with rocket balls our mantle layer is very soft so when you put soft and soft your durability actually gets better okay. so the sheer durability on rocket balls is actually very good okay so uh, and the uh, um, the only change in the TP uh, which I've loved the five layer ball is uh, just a little change in the core yes and uh, so for most people, that's that's going to help them. How? What's that going to do for their game? Yeah, by, by lowering the core compression by about 30%, it, it, it makes the ball feel softer. So the overall ball is tee to green will be softer, but it also allows us to drive the driver spin low. When you can keep the driver spin down, it's less affected by the wind. You don't get the ballooning and carrying. So the player should see the golf ball be longer with drivers and three woods, feel softer from tee to green, and, and still have the same performance that the old TP had from 150 yards and in. Well, I do know that the performance 150 in, and especially 100 in, with that ball was fantastic. Love chipping with it, you know, yeah. stopping them, and uh, so can't wait to try out the new one and, and, and see if there's, you know, a difference in the driver yes. in my own game. So I, I'm looking forward to that. So thanks for your time, and, Perfect. and I hope you have a great rest of the show. All right, thank you very much.